I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am teaching you dynamic submachine. In the dynamic submachine, I am focusing over the portal governor. This is the problem. In the portal governor, the arms or links are each 10 mm long and intersect on the main axis. Okay. The mass of each ball is 9 kg. 9 kg. The data they have given it. I will write the data here. Data. Mass 9 kg. I have written it. And the center mass will be capital M is equal to 40 kg. When the sleeve is in its lowest position, the arm is inclined at 30 degree. Here, inclination alpha is equal to 30 degree. 30. The lift of the sleeve is 2 cm. Lift they are given it. Lift is 2 cm. If you convert into terms of meter. You have to convert in terms of meters. It is 0 0.02 meter. What is the force of friction at this sleeve? Question mark. Force of friction they are asking it. At this sleeve. If the speed. If the speed at the beginning of the ascent. From the lowest position. Is equal to the speed of the beginning of the descent. In the highest position. What is the range of the speed of the governor. If all the other things. Remain same. This is very important problem. This is the diagram we will obtain. Why I am considering this one alpha is equal to beta because they are not given any small distance. If there is a small distance they will provide, then the, what happens? Alpha is equal to alpha is not equal to beta. It becomes alpha is not equal to beta. But there is no small distance they have mentioned it here from the axis. From the axis. Therefore, we can consider alpha is equal to beta. Fc, mg, this is w by t, w by 2, capital W by 2, this is h, this is h, or you can consider as a h1 because they have said it, lift they have given it out. The position of center when the sleeve is at its lowest position, lowest position. 30 angle the lift 2 cm 2 cm the argument is h1 next arm 0.1 meter 0.1 meter 10 cm is nothing but convert into meter here 0.1 meter here now what we have to do we don't know the r here but the lift they have given it. But here one thing uh, will come to know that after reading the problem, they are comparing between they are comparing between fall and lift, not between equilibrium speed and lift. In this problem, they are comparing fall and lift. Then you have to use the formula as lift is equal to 2 into h1 minus h2. You have to use this is a special problem. It is not easy to understand this problem, but you have to practice this problem. Then only you can going to come across uh, how to solve this problem. The lift is nothing but 2 into h1 minus h2. You have to do the comparison between this and this. Now, the lift is nothing but if you the formula will be lift formula will be 2 into h1 minus h2. H1 minus h2. We have to find out the frictional force. Now we have to find out h1 and h2. Now how to find out h1? h1 cos alpha is nothing but what? Cos alpha is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. This is opposite because r they are not given it. Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is adjacent? Adjacent is h1. Hypotenuse is 0 0.1. And alpha they have given as 30 degree. And beta is also 30 degree. That means alpha is equal to beta. Alpha is equal to beta here. Alpha is equal to beta. If you cross multiply, H1 is nothing but 0 0.0866 meter. Now, once you get 
this one already the lift they have given it what is the formula for lift 0 0.02 is equal to 2 what is h1 h1 is 0.0866 minus h2 you will get h2 h2 is equal to 0 0.0766 meter now you have to find out you have to find out what this is the important part here you have to find out the beginning of the ascent from the lowest position is equal to the speed at the beginning of the descent for the highest position you will write then you can find out the range here then you can find out the range now how to write here the speed of the beginning sorry speed at the beginning of ascent from the lowest position position is equal to speed at the beginning of descent from the highest position position formula for this one n1 double dash is equal to n2 double dash what is n1 because here the beta alpha is equal to beta therefore k is equal to 1 the formula becomes what but you have to consider the frictional force f you have to consider the formula becomes what mg plus mg plus f divided by m into 91.2 divided by h1 is equal to mg plus mg minus f because it is a descent decreasing here it is increasing plus if it is increasing plus decreasing minus divided by m into 91.2 divided by h2 h2 this is get cancelled the mm get cancelled the remaining will be mg plus mg capital mg plus f is equal is equal to h1 divided by h2 make the h1 this side and mg plus capital mg minus f now substitute the values 9 into 9.81 plus capital m will be 40 into 9.81 plus f is equal to h1 0 0.0866 divided by 0 0.0766 9 into 9.81 plus 40 into 9.81 minus f then it becomes what this one becomes what for 480.69 plus f is equal to 1.130505 minus f minus f bring f side if this side and send this one this side before doing this one just multiply this one 480.69 plus f is equal to 543.42 minus 1.1305 f now bring f this side and send this one this side it becomes f plus 1.1305 f is equal to 543.42 minus 480.69 bring make f as a common 1 plus 1.1305 is equal to 62.73 therefore f is equal to 62.73 divided by 1 plus 1.1305 answer will be 29.44 newton after getting the frictional force what we have to find out range we have to find out now to find out the range now finding the range 
considering the maximum speed here maximum speed i'm considering here maximum speed the range will be n2 double dash square i am taking this one notation and taking the formula remains same here mg plus mg plus f divided by m into 91.2 divided by h2 m is nothing but 9 into 9.81 plus 40 into 9.81 Plus what is F? F is nothing but 29. This is F. F is nothing but 29.44 divided by 9 into 91.2 divided by H2. H2 is nothing but 0 0.0766. Then square. Then M2 becomes what? Double dash becomes. 259.77 rpm next n1 double dash square is nothing but mg plus mg minus f because it is a decrement decreasing into 91.2 divided by h1 n1 double dash square is nothing but 9 into 9.81 plus 40 into 9.81 minus 29.44 divided by 9 into 91.2 divided by h1 is 0 0.0866 if you go for square rooting you will bet n double dash is equal to 229.78 rpm what is the range range is nothing but what range range is nothing but n2 minus n1 the 259.77 minus 229.78 is nothing but 29.99 that is approximately 30 rpm it's very important problem in video okay this is the range we are putting i am sudesh gaidankar thank you very much